Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, we're going to learn how to use the Cloud Vision API, the Detect Labels uh, feature in Python. So the Detect Labels feature allows you to extract information about entities in an image across different types of categories. And here, let me show you an example. So here, if you go to the, the main page of the Vision API documentation, and uh, a little bit towards the middle, there's a uh, try the API uh, function. Now let's just uh, pick an image and we'll drag this image. So here I'm going to pick this uh, green period image. And here's the image. And I'm going to just drag this image to the uh, to the function, to this uh, try the API function. And once the vision API uh, finish uh, analyzing the image, so here, uh, if we go to labels uh, section, and here the Vision API will uh, will populate different types of categories that relate to this image. Now let's open our Python editor. So I'm going to start defining my a uh, file name uh, variable. In this exercise, I'm actually going to use uh, just two images. So the first image is a, a cable car photo that I took in San Francisco. And the second image, we have a photo of a cat. Now let me close the image. So here, uh, let me grab the file name. So here, the file name is image one. And I'm going to define my image path. So this is going to be file name. Let me close the, the terminal. Okay. And it seems like I made a typo. Let me check. Give me one second. Oh, so here I can just remove these. Okay. Now that fixed the issue. Now we need to open the image as binary. Oops, I will that open. And we need to uh, grab the image from the image path. And I'm going to name uh, the output's uh, image file. And next, we're going to pass the binary to a content object. And here, I made a typo. It should be image path. Okay. Now I need to construct my image object. So from the visions module, vision.types.image, and we need to provide the content object. And next we need to uh, get a JSON response. So we need to pass the image object. Now let's just run the Python code by itself and see what we get so far. And here I get an error, so image is not this. Okay, content is not defined. So here I made a typo, could be. Uh, should be, oh, should be image file, not image path. Now let me try again. So if I just run uh, this, Oops. image file, oh, file name. Uh, image is not defined. So let me try this. Okay, now it's saying that I cannot find the file. So let me try this. It should be uh, image and followed by the file name. And let me try again. Okay, now this time uh, it works. Now if I print the response object, and for the first image, uh, this image only fit into two different categories. The first category, the Google Vision API uh, identifies the signage. So basically just the sign uh, or the signs. So from this uh, image. And the next uh, label that the, the API detect is vehicle. So in summary, um, this image belongs to two different categories, uh, signage and a vehicle. Now let's use the second image. So which is an image of a cat. And clear the terminal. Now, if I print the response, 
So this time we'll get a lot more uh, results. So this can be image of a cat, uh, whiskers, so small to medium size cat, and memo and so on. Now we have the response. This is a type of uh, response that I can convert the response to a data frame. So uh, at this point, I'm actually going to do that. So I'm going to convert the JSON response or in Google Vision API's terminology, this uh, annotation uh, response. So as you can see that I already imported the pandas module. Now we have the response. Now, uh, if you look the response uh, output, so we have uh, label annotations as uh, as individual record. So this is being treated as one record and this is being treated as another record. Now all we need to do is we just need to iterate all the label annotations. And so to do that, let me first of all create an empty data frame object. So we need to provide columns. And I'm going to just grab the description and the confidence score, and as well as the topicality. And uh, so right now, the score value and the topicality values are the same, and this is still a known bug. But uh, I think Google is going to fix the issue uh, hopefully in the future. But for now, I'm going to just extract these two uh, values uh, and store that into the pandas data frame. So here we have the description and the score and the topicality. Okay, and now we're going to iterate uh, each label annotation from the response uh, object. So for label, I'm going to just say for label in, uh, actually, I need to extract the label annotations first. So let's name this as uh, labels. And from response object, I'm going to use the label uh, annotations and uh, method or attribute, I guess. So let me do a quick check to see what data type this is. So this is a repeat compose, compose container. So I'm just going to name this as label annotation uh, container. Now for label in labels uh, container, and we're going to append the, the value to our uh, data frame object. So df.append, and here I'm going to use the uh, dict function, and we're going to pass the description as uh, label.description, and the score will be label.score, and topicality will be label dot topicality, and that should be it. So, and this one more thing we need to do. So we need to ignore the index since we don't want to generate a new index. So I'm going to set this to two, and that should be it. And lastly, I'm going to print the data frame. Now let me uh close the the terminal. I'm going to just run the, the Python script from scratch by pressing F5. And here's our uh, data frame result. So we have cats, whiskers, uh, so small to medium sized cats. Uh, so all this uh, category uh, fell into the 90% confidence. From my experience, anything above 85% is pretty accurate. And yeah, about this it. So hopefully you guys found the tutorial useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.